everybody, and welcome to another episode of Fultron in Nashville. These are my parents, in case you couldn't have guessed that. You as far are... as I know. Yes. This is my dad, <laughs> and this is my mom, <laughs> in case you were confused. I asked you guys on Twitter to send in some questions, and some of you did. So let's get started here. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. The first question from at Chill Hat says, what is life without waffles? <laughs> it's a very serious question. I'm not a huge waffle fan. You're not a waffle fan? Not a big one. Do you like I waffles? Can make it without waffles? I do like waffles. I, I haven't had life without them. Oh, that's, that's a good life. You like pancakes better. It's a tie. It's a tie. I'm not Are a huge just... fan of either one. I prefer pancakes. You prefer pancakes? I do. I do too. I think as an OCD person, <laughs> it's really hard to butter waffles. <laughs> I think there's more potential on waffles as yeah. far as what you can do with them, but uh -huh. the preparation is really hard for me. But just... you do get those little squares of butter that fill up. <laughs> I know. Isn't that good? <laughs> <laughs> it's yummy. Uh, Enofon says, what did your parents think of you doing Minecraft LPs, Let's Plays, and do they love Mumbo? Is that your pet? <laughs> <laughs> My pet Mumbo, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, Mumbo is the guy that uh, did his his video about me, and that's why I have oh. a, a YouTube channel at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> why I didn't quit. <laughs> okay, what was the first part of the question? Because I didn't know yeah. who Mumbo was either. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mumbo. Um, Sorry, Mumbo. What did your parents think of you doing Minecraft uh, LPs, which are Let's Plays, or the videos that I do? Okay. Um, so what did your parents think of you doing Minecraft LPs, and do they love Mumbo? I think I'd have to get to know him a little better <laughs> to love him, but I am thankful. <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful. I think it's neat that you do it. I think it's, uh, I didn't completely understand it at first, but, you know, teaching 13-year-olds, it kind of makes a little bit of sense to me. And uh, What does that mean about me? Yeah, well, <laughs> that you're their hero for the most part. I'm a lot they of 13-year-olds They want to grow up and be like you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> That's good. Uh -huh. At Ender Creeper says, is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> could you <laughs> use it as an instrument? Is there a way that you could possibly make it make sound? Well, when and it comes out of the, the bottle, it makes that... <laughs> yeah, it makes so like So you could probably create a rap. If it was like a squeeze... A beat to it or something. You know, and it has the... Like maybe yeah. if you had a way to adjust the nozzle so that sometimes it was like... And it's sometimes like... Probably as close as I'm ever going to come to playing an instrument. <laughs> My dad is quite the mayonnaise-ist. mayonnaise, -ist. mayonnaise -ist? Yes. Uh, this question is going to need a little context, but they said, um, which do you prefer, full fart or just fart? Uh, for, for my nickname? No, for the reference. <laughs> uh, for, for, for reference, uh, fart is what they call uh, people who give me fan art. Oh. They call it fart. Okay. So, because it's Fultron fan art. Uh-huh. They when they they give me fan art like pictures of sure. me or whatever that they draw they call it fart and they uh -huh. say hey Fultron I got you some fart or I got you a fart I like full fart because like I think you have fart? to brand yourself you, know? <laughs> you don't think I could copyright the word fart no but you could copyright full fart yeah as opposed to like a half fart or it's like a oh, we're just gonna stop there yeah it's like a, any, any thoughts about farts. <laughs> In my opinion, full's always better than part. Right? <laughs> so You're gonna part do it fart. all the way. <laughs> this is like another language. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, at Nathan H one two two three says. Oh him. Yeah. What do you think about video games and how they change people? I've never gotten the video game the bug. You know. I mean, yeah. Pong came out about the time that you were getting into video. Wait, the age where you got into video games when I was that age, it was. Pong. Right. And it's like, okay, that's 25 cents I could have spent on candy. Do you play video games? No. No? Not very Phone good. games. Well, you play like Words with Friends and stuff like that. I play a lot of computer type games, but not, but they're more Word. They're not. Yeah. We don't have a real creative aspect. When she says computer games, she doesn't mean like Fallout or <laughs> Portal, you know, or no. uh, CSGO or something. No. Uh, same question or same person asked another question. How has your son changed since starting his channel? 
What part of me has died since I started doing YouTube, apparently? I don't know that you've changed. Um, <laughs> my wife is, is nodding yeah, she's fervently. But you, I think you've gained a confidence because you were always good at that kind of stuff. But when you got that many subscribers, I think you began to recognize that this was something you were good at. So I think it's built some confidence in you. Would you agree or disagree with that statement? I would agree. Oh, good. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think it's given you some validation mm -hmm. that, you know, we've always been huge fans, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, here, here's one from uh, Temporary Zith. Uh, he has a, a question specifically for you. All right. He says, um, at what age did uh, Fultron start getting good with the ladies? Mm. Were, you, were you waiting? Were you just, like, observing me? Like, ah, he's not quite there yet. <laughs> not quite the ladies' man. And then one day... I mean, you weren't a player, so you weren't... <laughs> What's your definition of good with the ladies, you know? <laughs> I think that you were um, shy, so it wasn't like a, you know... I brought home some doozies. Well, yeah, those weren't ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you know what? You were good to the ladies. Yeah. You were a gentleman. That's true. And then you struck gold when you met Caitlin. <laughs> it's like ding ding. Yep, that's why I married her. That's right. Because I made Good the choice. ding ding sound. Yeah. Because you made the ding ding sound. <laughs> All right, this one comes from Two Cube Tech. He says, "How does your son's YouTube channel influence your opinion on YouTubers and the internet in general?" It doesn't influence my opinion. I think it's given me knowledge about it that I didn't have before. I, you know, as you and I have talked about, it, I understand it a little bit better. Um, and I'm able to explain it better to people because I really didn't know a lot about it. It's it's the trend. It's the way things are going. So it's just a normal part of the evolution of media, I think. That sounded so cool when I you said that. Really, you sounded really really <laughs> smart. Can, can you, like, kick the volume up on that in yeah, post? I'll oh, put some music underneath right. it. <laughs> the American flag behind yeah. us. Has it impacted the way you think about YouTube at all or anything like that? I think it's... It's just gone from not knowing anything to to just learning about it from your experience, but it didn't really change something. It just brought something to light, like, oh, that's what that is. And oh, that's, that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they do, you know. So. You have to remember, your mother and I both came west in a buggy. Right. <laughs> so this is all kind of new to us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this one comes from Squirt Dude. He says, how did Fultron turn out so perfect? Yeah, perfect's a strong word, I think. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Tell us how you refill, Mom. <laughs> well, who wants to be perfect? That's a heck of a thing to want to be. How did you raise such a nice boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. If he's referring to, like, how, how good you are at what you do... That's, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I want to know what he meant by perfect because, like, yeah. you know, you're meticulous and a perfectionist about your work. Where other people go, wow, I just did a great job. You'd be going, hmm, that's about an 82%. <laughs> and I'm really it. judgmental of other people's work. No, of yourself. <laughs> I mean, if you had done what other people are content with, if you'd done that, you would not be content with it. You would, oh, okay. you would fine tune it and you would see things that other people don't even see. At Yabut58 says, do you like waffles? I think we covered that one. We did. We did I like them now. You like them now? Oh, yeah. They're Things have favorite. changed. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad Hearing you asked you guys that. talk about them is true. I mean, I've gone through a lot of changes since the early part of this interview. <laughs> Probably because of YouTube. Because of YouTube. It's changed you a lot. Yeah. That's good. At MZYT says, did you ever think Fultron would have thousands and thousands of people cheering him on and supporting him? Like, when I started my channel, did you think... I, that might go somewhere, or do you think, oh, it's nice that he's doing that? Because I kind of started it as just, like, a way to, like, keep in touch with you guys while mm -hmm. we're on different sides of the country. So, like, did you ever think, hey, that might take off? I didn't think that part would get, you know, 5,000 subscribers, just, you know, here's who I am, I'm living in Nashville. But the video game part of it, um, that part doesn't surprise me as much, you know. When I'm talking about uh, you and Alex in my class, and they find out that you have a YouTube channel that involves Minecraft in some way. All the guys are, like, paying attention to me for the first time in the entire school year. You can use me as leverage. Yes. <laughs> like, you get an A in this class, and I'll let you talk to my son. He's a famous YouTuber. Now that I have your attention, let's get out our homework. Yeah. Okay, and here is the last question. Is actually from Wife Tron herself. She says, 
What is your favorite family tradition? It was the fact that ever since you were little, we took you on one-on-one -on -one trips where I would take you and mom would take Alex and then I would take Alex and mom would take you and we'd go do something just focusing on one child at a time. Yeah. And that was something we did every single year and it was always a part of your life. And, and I remember my favorite one was when you moved to Tennessee the first time you called me up and asked me to come out. And that was like you giving me a one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. trip. And, and that was the best one for me. I think, you know, I'm not... I don't know that there's anything specific as much as I just love us. I love it when we're together. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm really easy that way. So I don't think of it like when we're together at Christmas or we're together, just when we're together. It's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas Eves are some of my favorite family traditions. Mm -hmm. You know, because most families would celebrate on Christmas Day, and then we we always do. Our family is always done Christmas Eve, and I don't know if this is right, but this is my theory because mm -hmm. you have only sisters. There's yeah. a bunch of men that are married into the family instead of like an equal number of men and women. Yeah. So it's a lot of men who are the in-laws, and so they always are like, "Well, I'm not celebrating Christmas on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. In my family, we always did it Christmas Day." So all the families that have been married for so many years, they're always going to the men's family for Christmas Day. And so, because grandma doesn't give an F, she's like, yeah, we'll do it on Christmas Eve. What, what, what the hell, who cares? And so we just always, you know, our family has always done Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. And even our, like our immediate family, I feel like we never really did Christmas Day very much. Mm -hmm. Like it was always just Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day we just play with all the toys we got. Right. You know. Yeah, we did. When I when I explained that to Kate, she about lost consciousness. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's worked out really well for mm -hmm. all of, you know, your married family. It's like it works out really good. Yeah. So no matter who you marry, most... it's going to work out because <laughs> whoever you marry is going to do it on Christmas Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We always do it on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Easy as that. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A with the mother and the father together, all of us. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> just talking to you. Um, uh, remember, I do have my Patreon page up, so you can go check that out. It's patreon.com slash You can go there and support me and sign up for some awesome rewards. Tell your friends about that as well. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank mm -hmm. you for muscling through the <laughs> wonderful thing that you enjoy of filming yourself. Yes. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Voltron out. <laughs> <laughs> mm.